today we're going to make a red velvet pound cake with spiked eggnog something great for the holidays all right so first things first we're going to go ahead on and take some sugar and we're going to crack one egg at a time all right once that egg is fully incorporated we're going to add our next egg i know you may think this is a tedious step but it really matters because it helps incorporate the egg so you get this nice fluffy and light mixture look at how light that egg and sugar looks back there all right once you get it to that point we're gonna go ahead on add some canola oil some white vinegar some red dye and some pure vanilla extract all right so we're gonna mix that up together and then to our self-rising flour what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some dark cocoa powder then we're just gonna go ahead on and stir until that's nice and blended well and then we're gonna add it to our batter we're gonna add flour and then we're gonna add eggnog all right then some more flour then your egg no you go back and forth like this and then we're going to finish off with some flour you go back and forth like this to make sure that the flour and the liquid mixture is well incorporated it just does something great for your cake batters all right and then we're going to pour that batter into a buttered and floured bunt pan and then we're going to give it a little shake and then a little drop and that's going to make sure that we don't have any air bubbles and that everything is nice and settled we're going to pop that into a 300 degree oven for about one hour and 15 minutes while that's in the oven let's make our spiked eggnog we're going to take some eggnog a shot of whiskey and a shot of rum that's right two shots for the grown folks all right and then we're just going to stir that and sit that to the side until our cake comes out of the oven all right so while we're waiting, we're going to also make our icing. So we're going to take some powdered sugar. We're going to take a little bit of salt and some nutmeg. Throw that in there. We're going to take some eggnog. That's right, I bought two gallons of eggnog. So we're going to use eggnog everywhere I possibly can. All right. So we're going to take that and then we're going to go ahead on and add some vanilla extract. Another thing that works great with this is some almond extract. If you're into that, almond extract will work great here too. All right. So then we're going to go ahead on and mix that until it's nice and smooth like some 90s r &B. look at how silky that is you make this cake for somebody there's going to be a meeting in your bedroom if you don't catch that joke just google silk meeting in my bedroom all right and after the cake comes out we're going to give our spiked eggnog just a little bit of stir and we're going to pour all of this over our cake i know it's going to feel weird but i love adding my liquids to my cake while it's warm because I find that it just helps absorb all of that spiked eggnog -ious. Is eggnog -ious a word? We're gonna make it a word. And after your cake cool off, you wanna wrap it and pop it into your refrigerator overnight. The next morning, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're gonna take your, your wrapping off and then you're gonna pop your cake in the oven for about five minutes. If you do not do this step, your cake will not release from the pan and you and your loved ones will be eating the cake out of the pan. But if you follow this step, once you flip that cake over, it's going to slide right on out. Watch, watch, watch. Look, look, watch this. Ooh, baby. So beautiful. All right, and after the cake cools, what you want to do is you want to pour your icing all over your cake. All right, don't do like me. I was ready to eat this cake, so I poured my icing all over the cake before it was nice and cooled off. But who cares? As long as it tastes great together, you are good to go. And that is how you make red velvet pound cake with spiked eggnog. Enjoy.